Another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase. This I know. Yeah, I'm going for. Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. We are back with the reef. I know you guys been wanting some reef content. I get it, dude. I just been busy with life, man. The tank has had some neglect to it. Not that I purposely try to do this. I know people probably think, man, you're trying to do that. No, I'm not trying to do this. I just been busy with things. And this tank needs a lot of work, dude. I mean, it's we've gotten to the point, you can see these corals right here behind me. The, they're just too big, dude. There's gonna be some reconstruction that has to happen. I've, I've been holding up this video because I knew this is gonna be a big thing. I don't really, you know, it's a lot of work to cut these and like move them and try to figure out a solution. There's so much stuff in this tank and some things are doing really good and some things have kind of taken a downturn. We'll get into that. I saw something died off and I'll get into that for sure. But uh, I definitely want to clean this up because it is a mess, dude. And if you're going to have this in our bedroom, right? This is our bedroom. It's like, this is like depressing, right? Look at all this. And plus there's salt creep everywhere. I mean, really, dude, the whole system, the underneath, everything needs to be overhauled. So I'm gonna try to do that. I, I kind of like scheduled my day today to do that. I'm gonna have to bring in buckets because I think we're gonna have to take things out. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we are gonna overhaul this uh, reef and we'll get into what's in there. And uh, oh man, dude. So one of the first things I need to tackle is the salt creep. I don't know why it's doing it. I have no idea why this gets so bad. I know everybody deals with a little bit of salt creep, but I feel like this is excessive. And I don't know if it's because Maybe the silicone itself is breaking down on the top. I don't know, man, but look at that, dude. Isn't that a crazy? Look at this back here, dude. What are those things called? I know those like stalagmites and stalactites. Like I got, look at that, dude. Isn't that crazy? But I did this uh, 3D background and I think the salt's allowed to creep over the top. So that is somewhat, you know, not so great. Oh, look over here. It's poppy, dude. I haven't seen you in a while. All right. And uh, here's an overall top view. We'll kind of get in there. Yeah. So lots. Look at that, dude. Insane. All right, so let's just start knocking this uh, algae off here. And we'll kind of just, and this stuff's really hard. It's on there pretty good. I wish I had a longer razor blade. They actually sell some long razor blades. They're about, I don't know, about four or five inches long. Like I haven't seen like inside this tank in quite a while, well, not in a clear view. I know there's some things that need to be improved. I can already tell something's growing, something's not. I actually made a mistake because I got some new lighting and uh, I had it too bright on this one section and some of the corals really didn't like it. So I'll get into that. But it's always kind of a nice surprise to do this and then you kind of see like, oh wow, that really did good or oh, wow, that really didn't do good. smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for the ride and by myself I am alive and I saw still I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in cause I want more so if you look at the tank one thing you'll notice is that these guys have walked these were in the back. And I've, I've done a video before on how these corals walk and how they do it, where they go up, they fall over, and then they attach, they go up, they fall over. They literally move like that. These were originally back here. And over the course of like three years, they've walked to the front of the tank, probably to get better light, right? One thing that I don't like though, is like, if you look back here, it's like a void, it's just a rock, right? So I'm gonna have to cut these. This is gonna be crazy, but like, look how big this is, dude. Like, look at this. This is my hand, dude. It's bigger than my hand. Look, see that? See how big? And that's in its condensed stage. I mean, dude, when this thing gets big, it's it's literally a catcher's glove. And so it, you can see it used to start back here. Like you see the, I don't know if you can see that. There's a leg back here. See that right there? And that's where it went up, fell over, went up, fell over. And so, yeah, I need to have this stuff in the back area these things right here. And I've got like, God, dude, there's so many of them now. I've got one, two, three, four, 
I mean, dude, even these would be considered super large, right? I mean, if you look at that, when that thing gets fully big, it's probably about as big as my hand. So yeah, man, these are incredible specimens, I guess, you know, and I know a lot of people say, you should be cutting those up, but I'm like, dude, at this point, like, I mean, I hate to sell it too, because I know if I sell that thing, let's say I got 300 bucks for that, right? You could literally make over 1500 bucks with this, dude. If you cut this in and sold it for like $25 pieces, I don't know how many pieces you could make out of this, but I would assume 100, dude. I mean, right? So I don't know, man. It's just kind of like, I'm just trying to figure out like, what, what should I do here, right? And I've got some things that have fallen that I want to get back in order here. Like this fell. So a lot of things, like I said, I haven't seen the inside of this tank in a while. And that doesn't mean I'm a good refunder either. But uh, yeah, and then I must have about, like of these, there's probably about 30, no, not 30, it's probably about 20 pods just around the tank, dude. So yeah, man, this is a complex issue where you can actually have a reef kind of, you know, outdo itself. I mean, it gets so big. So look at, look at this big rock. So I got that, that thing, I'm gonna have to figure something out with this. I've definitely got to redesign the tank though, for sure. We're gonna need a redesign here. Man, dude, I don't even know where to start. I hate taking out the live rock too because, you know, live rock is so beneficial. Look at all that stuff on that live rock, all those sponges and stuff. So you really hate to take all that stuff out. But at the end of the day, I mean, you have these corals that are just growing gigantically and they need, they need space and you just don't have it, you know? But, oh, dude, what do I got back here? I don't even want to touch that. I felt like I was touching something gooey and I didn't know what it was. So we're definitely going to move this guy. This guy's getting a cut today and he's, he's, he's graft on to a lot of different stuff. So it's going to be hard. This guy for sure. I mean, this guy's planted himself and it sucks too because he graft himself to this awesome overhang here, but yeah, God, those things are on there, dude. They're like, I just try to pull it off. There's no way you have to literally like, you're going to, I'm going to have to cut that. But anyway, let's get back to our cleaning. And then, I don't know, I feel like I should have this guy back in the water just because I don't want him to die off and I've got a coral on there. So we'll get him back in there for right now. A lot of people ask me like, like how do you keep everything together? And the, the short answer is gravity because you see all these rocks fall away to the top. But yeah, it's uh, definitely, see like a piece, oh man. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky without bringing down the whole house. Oh, dude. All right, so check this out, dude. So I just cut this thing off. I mean, dude, look at this thing. Look at the base on that, dude. Is that crazy? Look at the green, isn't that awesome? I know you can't see it, but it's just fluorescent green. But dude, look at that. So, you know what's crazy about these corals is all these, you know, corals like this are made up of a bunch of different mine, like microscopic corals, I think, that all cling to each other and make up this large organic mass, right? But I mean, this thing is, I mean, this thing's massive, dude. Look at this. So what I'm gonna do here, he's going to the back, because I got no other place to put him. And I don't even know how this is gonna turn out, dude. And the, set, the thing that stinks is that he'll float around, especially as he gets his, you know, he fills back up full of water, he becomes even lighter, and that thing will be floating on the top of the tank. But look at this, I mean, you can kind of see here, see this right here? And that will grow into another one down here, like this right here, like if you see this right here, that will grow into another one of these, so, and it will grow, in, it'll have a huge head on it too, because this is a really wide thing. See, this whole thing's gonna come down, this is gonna be a bad deal for me. But I can't, I just can't, I have to do it. I have to, re, I have to redesign this whole thing. There's no way around it. So, all right, let me get going. I'm gonna cut this guy next and we'll move him back. Okay, so this guy's next. Let's see, he's connected to here. God, he's, they're, they, they're, they get so, I was able to break him free of that one thing, so that's good. They cut really, they cut somewhat easy if you have a sharp enough blade. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this guy up here. See this right here, see he's connected. So what we're gonna do here, oops, some kind of, it looks like a potato, dude. Doesn't it, it kind of, that's what it looks like, a potato when you get done with cutting it. 
Okay. So he's free floating. All right. So here's another one. And like I said, I don't know what to do with these things, dude. So, I mean, the only thing I, I feel like I can do is like, All right, so I did a little bit of rearranging. I gotta let it sit for a little bit for a couple reasons. One, I kinda wanna clear out some stuff, just some of the stuff floating around, just so I can see what I'm doing. But I also gotta see what's gonna happen when these things inflate, right? Because when they do, they take on a life of their own. They could float to the top and come right out of that section, which means I'm gonna have to wedge things back there. But um, this is where we're at so far. All right, so here's Sammy's tank. We're gonna do something on this. Can't, it's been a while since we've cleaned this thing up. It's really got a really cool beta in there that you'll see. So let's get this all going and we'll get this little tank cleaned up as well. All right, here it is. We're cleaned up, we're organized and uh, not too bad. Um, could have been worse, but we'll go over the tank. I'll show you what we got going on. But here is where our monster toadstools live at the moment. I wish they would crinkle up, but Huge piece, that piece on the back is somewhat still getting adjusted. These ones look like they're doing pretty good though, right? But you can see how big of organisms those are, right? You know the bad thing about having something this big though is that they take up a lot of nutrients and they take up a lot of whatever, you know, they can put off toxins. Like when you have something this big, you know, they can put off a toxin that's pretty potent sometimes just certain kind of corals. So that's always something. Okay, we'll start on the left here. I'll kind of show you. So I'll do a little, here's the bird's eye of it, right? It's pretty good. So let's see here. These are the green polyps. Remember, I did have these completely full over the top, but the puffer fish started sleeping on it and I don't think they like whatever is on his skin, but they'll bounce back. And I also kind of bleached them out a little bit along with this guy when I had the lights up too high, but um, I'm expecting this to come back. Uh, let's see here. These are awesome. I got this from a fellow reefer here. There are these, and this doesn't do it any justice because these are like toxic green, finger leathers or whatever you call them. They're toxic, man. The uh, hammers are looking pretty good. Not too bad, right? Purple tip hammers. And then let's see here. The polyps, they look as good as they ever have. We got another little guy down here. Uh, I didn't even realize that I still have bubble tips in here, but I do have one in here. He's kind of just chilling, All right? This thing is awesome. Everybody likes this thing, it's like a Recordia, super bright orange on black. And when it's all blue, it looks amazing, dude. I mean, it is like on fire. We got another toxic hammer here. He's looking pretty good, right? Extended out pretty nice. Toxic mushrooms. Then up here, we've got a couple of bicolor hammers and um, torch, polyps. So those all look pretty good. This tank does really good with uh, like hairy mushrooms. So I got some down here as well. I don't know what it is. I did I did do a little bit of rock work. I had to because I had to rebuild some of this stuff. That's one of the things I, I actually really enjoy is building up the rocks and having these like areas that the fish can swim through. And I don't know, I, just, I actually enjoy that as much as I do actually corals and things. I love uh, like building the rocks. And uh, like I said, it's all held together with gravity, this whole reef system. I do have a 3D background, as you can see in the back. It's pretty neat because there's a lot of stuff it's back there. I have corals living on it and I have barnacles and all kinds of, so it's become a living organism, the background, which I made from spray foam, resin, sand, and live rock. And it's become, like I said, a piece of a living reef in here. I did get these cool toadstools. You can see them back there. They're still small, but they're kind of the opposite of this, right? This is like like um, neon green, toxic green um, with white tips. And this is a white with toxic green tips. So it's the opposite, but it's doing pretty good. It's actually growing in the hairy mushrooms and it doesn't care. The trumpet corals back there, they're looking good. Um, now this thing is another monster in this tank. Um, I've broken it off a few times in here, and that is the plate coral. And uh, Poppy here, every once in a while, 
will go and nibble on it. I think it's to keep his front teeth sh like sharpened down, but it doesn't matter because this thing's growing at such a rapid pace that it really doesn't matter. I actually, I actually picked this thing up too. It's really cool. Can you see this? I'm kind of zoom in. This will work. Isn't that cool? I got that a long time ago. They had a Petco, man. I just picked it up. I thought it was cool. It's still kind of hanging in there. It's nothing. It doesn't grow crazy, but it's still there. And uh, but no, this plate coral is amazing, and it's really neat because see all this around here. It actually builds on top of itself. So all this is like a history of itself, right? It's old skeleton structure, and it's always growing. And it it kind of doesn't grow in a spiral. It kind of just I don't know. It kind of I mean it does sometimes come out, but it's it's you can kind of see the formation it does. I did wipe it out one time, half of it. Like this part up here, see how it's kind of like, bleed? it's growing over itself now. But at one point I had the water level come down too low for too long and it bleached half of this thing, but it's coming back big time. But uh, yeah, and then here is part of the base, right? I cut the base off that toadstool. Now the top of that should grow into one of these. It should grow a crown on it and it will be, but I mean, I've got like a lot of these things, man. They're just everywhere. Dude, I mean, seriously, I probably should get rid of some of these, but I don't know. I haven't bought a coral in a long time. You know, it's really cool too, and this doesn't do them justice. I almost want to turn down the lights. Let me see if I can real quick. Um, because I want you to see like the colors on these, if we can, they're really cool. Let's see here. And that's the thing, you know, with polyps, like you go into a store and you know, they'll have a, um, Let's see here if I can do this. They'll have a polyp in there and it's like bright red, you know, or it has a crazy color to it. And then when you get it home, you notice that it's just blah looking, right? Because it's not under the super blue antennae, you know, that most people don't keep their tanks like that. I don't know, but if you can see it, it becomes these, back there you might be able to see a little bit more, but it's these really nice orange polyps. They're really beautiful, you know, and if I put them under, you know, and this doesn't do it justice, man, because this phone just doesn't pick up its color. But if I put those under some crazy lights and took a look at these things though, whoa, those things glow. This thing glows. These things were on fire. Man, look at that, dude. Look at everything just comes. Look at when I back up this deal. I'm gonna turn this down too. Watch watch how all the colors pop on this tank with all that toxic stuff in there. Kind of turn this down. There we go. But see how the tank, look at this thing, dude. Is that wild or what? Everything gets like on fire. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at this thing. Whoa. Now see, if you saw that, what would they charge you on eBay on that, dude? Honestly, they'd call that the Holy Grail. They'd call that, dude. Right? Crazy. But all these things are just awesome looking, dude. When it gets, look at this thing. Holy smokes. That's incredible, dude. Look at that. And this, I'm telling you, like what you're looking at here is nothing to what I'm seeing with my eyeballs, dude. So let's see my eyeballs is the most fluorescent, hot pink you could ever imagine. Same thing with all these toxic things, man. These, it's just wild. Look at these things. Fire. Yeah, man, I love it. Leave my tank like this if I could. I think it needs a little bit more light though. But yeah, anyway, I just want to show you these polyps because it is crazy, the coral world right now on like what people charge, you know, you can't even get like, you probably have a hard time even getting something like this anymore or something like this, right? What they'll do is they'll break this off into like nine little Zoa, little Zoas and this, they'll, you know, sell it for like 45 bucks and call it like, you know, incredible Hulk Zoa or something crazy. But that's the reef world, man. But anyway, there it is, dude. There is a look and look at Poppy up there, dude. He's a role model citizen. Role model. I'll put some uh, light back in here. But uh, anyway, there it is. There's a little look at our our reef tank. And uh, let's get over to Sammy's tank and do a quick cleanup on that. And then that will conclude our reef update. Dude, look how awesome. How awesome is that, dude? Fire. I'll take one more backup step and then we're going to head over to Sammy's. All right. All right, so here we are. This is the tank. It's low on water. Sammy, you haven't been taking care of your tank, dude. Um, 
I don't know what happened. Like one day I woke up and started switching. Then my dad, you said, oh, we can do it tomorrow. Then okay. he did that over and over and over and over. Then it turned into this. Okay, we gotta fix it. I don't even know if that's algae. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so the first thing you do, let's get the water out of here. Or let's get some water out of here. Let's get him in the bowl. I think there's some snails in there. And let's see. I did one in slow mo. It goes out to three. Well, we got Sammy's tank all done. Uh, snails look like they're happy. And uh, beta fish. Looks pretty. Isn't that a cool beta fish, dude? Looks cool, huh? It's like a red, blue, and white. It's like an American flag. Isn't it neat? Got our plants going. Little tank, and uh, we keep it powered. It's got like a, a live um, light on the top, so the plants grow really good. And this guy's awesome. Looking. Look at that. Really cool. All's good. There's Sammy's tank. <laughs>